Welcome to the very first episode of Bambi Builds. I'm Bambi and today I'm starting a new survival world. I'm going to find the cherry blossom biome and I'm building a cute little house. Let's play Minecraft 1.20. Okay, we are not off to a great start because this is the wrong seed. Yesterday I picked out this epic seed where you spawn in a bamboo jungle right next to a desert village with the beautiful Badlands backdrop. And there's an entrance right here to this incredible lush cave. Clearly I have punched in the wrong seed and now we're in a completely different world that I haven't checked out yet, so let's go! So for this game, I really wanted to challenge myself by building in the desert biome. So I thought I could give a desert village a makeover, and now I've spawned in the wrong desert village. <laughs> but I kind of like it! We're right near the ocean, we're in the jungle biome, my absolute favourite. We have bamboo. We have some cats, we have hay bales, or oh, we have a camel. Oh, he is cute. I love him. Oh, he loves me too. If we're going to give this village a makeover, we are going to need color. We're going to need terracotta. We cannot live here if there are no badlands nearby. Oh, okay, there they are. Kind of far away. I really wanted to have them as a backdrop because it's just so colorful, but that's okay. Let's keep looking around mm. and see what else we have here. The great thing about spawning in the middle of a village is that we don't really have to worry about food <laughs> and a bed because we can crash with these guys. The jungle biome is my favorite place to build. I just love that bright green grass. I love the parrots and the jungle cats. I love the easy food sources like melons and cocoa beans. They're so good for composting and they grow so quickly. Ooh, what do we have here? This is a really cute, really tiny patch of wooded badlands. It's got a great view of the jungle and the ocean. I think we've just found the perfect spot to build our base. I think I am very happy with this seed. So now that we are definitely going to continue playing in this world, it's time to play Minecraft and chop down our first tree. Let's head back to the village and start gathering some building materials so we can build a house. And just like that, the sun is setting on our first day in this beautiful world. Now this is a very well equipped village. There are clearly plenty of extra beds to spare. So we can just have a little sleepover with our new friends. I'm sure they're very happy we're here. And now we'll find a slightly more permanent temporary house. This one's cute. Just needs some extra security. And the most important part of a home is the front door mat. Nice. I'm just setting up a few things and I've realized I have not raided this village yet. So now, because we're peaceful players, we will uh, get to work and bake some bread. We'll go mining and craft our own iron armor. Lovely. 
We'll find a grassy field and break some grass for wheat seeds. We'll go catch some wild cattle and lure them into an awesome pen that we'll just build all by ourselves. And now we're mining for our first coal, our first torches, and our first zombie. Day three, adventure time. Let's just get in the boat and go. We need to find those cherry blossom trees. So, whenever you head out on a big adventure, it is absolutely essential that you bring these three important safety items. Food, a weapon, and a bed. Oh, yep. I forgot to bring a bed. Excellent. That's okay. So now we just need to find some iron. Do some smelting. Then we'll use two iron bars to make some shears. And then we just need to find a sheep. Oh, hello there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we are ready for an adventure. All of a sudden, it's getting dark again, but luckily I'm an incredibly organized Minecraft player and I brought a bed with me. Day four, time for some food, time for some cherry blossoms. Oh yes. Oh, that's cool. They look so sweet. Let's head straight over there. Actually, We need flowers for dye. Pumpkins! Always say yes to free food. Oh yeah, these pink petals are probably my favorite part of the new update. So just grab a couple. And our first cherry tree. Might as well get the most out of our shears. Now, I'm not a fan of the purple trunk, so Oh yeah, oh that looks pretty. Oh yeah, this looks so much better. Let me have a look. This looks <gasps> terrible. Oh no, I ruined that tree. Let's just bail. Ah, home sweet home. Let's unpack our bag and let's start growing some stuff. We need lots of paper, lots of wood, lots of leather, and lots and lots of terracotta. We're using clay to make bricks for our chimney and now we get to crush some flowers, make some dyes and mix some colours. I really did not collect enough terracotta. I also want to use some jungle wood in this build. It's the best tree to chop down because you can just climb to the top with the vines. Bamboo, my favorite sound in the game. And 
sound. One of my least favorite sounds in the game. Sorry, buddy. We need your string for scaffolding. Now we have all of our materials to build our starter base. I say starter base, but I'll probably end up living here forever, so it's not going to be tiny. I'm using dyed terracotta, jungle wood, spruce wood, and cherry wood. Now, the challenge with building in the Badlands biome is that all the leaves, the grass, the vines, even the ferns are all brown. So we really need to get creative to add some green in here. Thank goodness the cherry blossom trees grow pink and not brown. I think they look so good here. The azalea leaves also hold their green color and so do crops. So I'm planting lots of cactus, sugarcane, melons, pumpkins, sweet berries, and bamboo. I think this looks so cute and I'm so happy with those cherry trees. I also wanted a beautiful view from my bedroom window so I got started on some crop farms out the back right away. I still need carrots and potatoes but we are looking pretty good so far. Now about our cow situation, <laughs> I bred so many cows and for some reason I thought it would be a good idea to do this. I'm so sorry, I need to get out. This is this is the only way. Now a bunch of them escaped, so I'll just capture them and return them safely to their pen. <laughs> they are everywhere. Sorry. So we ended up with an entire stack of leather, which is exactly what we need to craft books and item frames, my two favorite decorating items. And I'm really looking forward to trying out the new chiseled bookshelves. Oh, so cool. Okay, now I'll give you a tour. Here is what we have so far. This lovely fireplace and a large kitchen. And that purple cherry wood is growing on me. There's a little entry foyer with all my travel essentials. And upstairs, a little bedroom. Oh, and a really cute view of the sunrise. These cherry leaves are so pretty. I think I like them more than spore blossoms. Now here's my beautiful garden view. Nice. Oh, hello. Goodbye. So that's my house all finished. The only thing that's missing is like a functional space to store things, build things, enchant, go mining. You know, all those like not important Minecraft things. So we'll just hide all that mess underground. I need some ladders so I can get back up. And now I'm going to try out this torch trick. Cool. So this is our little basement and I am loving these colors. Now I just need to decorate. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. This will be the mine shaft. That's a job for episode two. This is for enchanting. This will be a functional workstation for smelting and cutting. I actually managed to get a window with a view, so that was a nice surprise. Here is where I'll store all my favorite items. And yes, I'll need some more cows to donate some leather for item frames. The only thing that's missing is some greenery. It's a little dull. 
So what we want is glowberry vines. We can use them for greenery and as a light source and even as a ladder. So we'll need to find a lush cave and that's a job for episode two. And then down here, we have room to extend and build a much larger storeroom. When the time comes, I also thought I'd try out the new bamboo blocks. Pretty nice. And that's it. I hope you like this tour of my house. Oh, and a pretty sunset today. Look at those colors. Actually, the one thing that is missing from this house is a view looking out this way. So in episode two, I think I'll build a balcony upstairs above the kitchen. But for now, I'm pretty happy with my efforts so far. I think this is a really nice place to call home. I hope you enjoyed this episode and maybe it has inspired you to give the Badlands biome a go. I think it's very underrated and now with the cherry blossom trees it just has so much potential. If you'd like to try out this seed and spawn in a cool desert jungle village please do and I'll put my other seed in the description box as well just in case you like the look of that lush cave. In episode two we're going to build that balcony, we'll go mining and find a lush cave and we'll do some exploring to discover some of the new 1.20 features. This is Bambi Builds, I'm Bambi, and I hope you enjoyed my first ever Minecraft video. Bye!